Hi again, folks. I'm Adnan, and I'm here with another another episode on Azure Sentinel. In my previous video, um, uh, I did a high-level overview of Microsoft Azure Sentinel. Today, we'll do another short video, kind of go over different features here. So, if you look at my screen, is my production tenant, and I'm ingesting the data through my Office 365, and I'm also bringing the data from uh, different services within Azure. So it's, this is a dashboard as you can see here. And then we have logs because basically Azure works on log monitoring. And then we have different uh, data sources available here, guides. So you can go here. This interface is about if you want to run some query. There are some query I ran in the past. You can run query. Uh, you can add a new tab here and then you can run additional query you can go into the security insights look for log management for example so that's what it is and if you come to the incidents basically i created some incidents which goes and those are the incidents and rule you can create so basically that's the idea about the SOC. you want to create an incident based on some behavior and attack and whatever you see and then you can configure uh, those so we'll look into that in the future how to do that and then you can monitor or you can configure them to go to your service desk and something based on that so there are test rules some admin activity as you can see um, audit activity by user so these are all tests so in the future videos i will be putting more uh, towards uh, some meaningful scenarios but uh, what we're going to do now is you can see the evidence we'll look into the alert and everything here uh, but not today I'm gonna discuss this I want to give you um, kind of uh, different products and features so there are workbooks available and we'll look into see what are the workbooks and what are the data connectors today and data connector as I told you before if you go back to my previous video you'll learn it because data connector is your source basically that's where these all API's the built-in APIs and every time Microsoft is building it and if you're missing something go to the github and you may bring it from there and uh, there are options if your product is not listed you can go to syslog set up a server and bring from there so different ways of doing it you can bring Microsoft stuff which I already have um, you can bring Palo Alto you can bring Barracuda and all that stuff so if you look at here uh, all these things cloud app security office 365 the one which is in green are the one which are connected so there are in my tenant or subscription i have 39 connectors one they are saying is coming soon which i'm not sure which one is that and seven of them are connected so once you connect the data connector which is your source and then you go to the workbook and this is where you do this stuff so data connector for example azure security center or let me just go with azure active directory or identity protection so in identity protection there's nothing so here we see some meaningful data um, and then here if i mouse over uh, we see these analysis or analytics and it is bringing this type of data the sign-in logs and audit log so this is coming from Azure which has sign-in logs and audit logs and this is where it's pulling the data from basically and I'll just read for you the description it gives you the insight into Azure AD by connecting audit and sign-in logs to Azure Sentinel and uh, gather insight around Azure Active Directory scenarios you can learn about app usage about conditional access policies legacy authentication uh, all that stuff we'll look into those how you can leverage that and work on security uh, and also Azure management groups and all that stuff you bring in here uh, let's go to workbook and see what kind of workbook I have so there are 45 templates available the one I have configured are these workbooks sign in logs protections so if i go in there i have a saved workbooks i have a template so basically when i'm going to click them we can see more view saved workbook view 
click here and once we ingest the data we can start looking into that so without ingesting the data you won't see all of that so here as you can see on the screen it's still refreshing it is giving me the data for the last 14 days I can sort them by even 30 days custom even every five minutes I can go and I can select each individual application and that's the beauty where I want to know um, sign in analysis on particular app and if I see increase or decrease depending I would be suspicious about it's a holiday season strict so these days especially during the digital workplace everybody is locked on during this COVID-19 it's really worth it you can leverage that and then here uh, again uh, you have the users which I have a users you can see my user Adnan 650 sign in the last 14 days I can change it to last hour or maybe a day for example if I wanted to put last 24 hours then it's updated right away and Curie has not result any results so we go let's say 24 to 48 hours and see if there's any data let me go further three days if you see we should be able to see some data here now and then it's just to sign in from Adnan so it's my particular per my tenant so that's being said that I just wanted to share in the next video we'll go into the different data connectors and maybe we'll go more into different apps kind of cover so stay tuned and I'll see you in my next video thank you